Welcome! In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus and today I'll show you how you can enable your power saving mode on this device. So to get started you want to pull down your notifications by swiping down from the top of the screen and then swipe down once again to extend the list of visible toggles. Now by default the power saving toggle should be located on the first page right here somewhere. Uh, for me it is in the corner but if you don't see it on the first page you could swipe to the left and this will show you additional pages but by default it is added here uh, but if for some odd reason you don't see it you could just add it manually by tapping on the plus and then finding it in the list of toggles that are turned off dragging it up to the top and you should be good to go from there anyway once you see this toggle you can simply press on it and this will automatically turn it on now additionally if you want to get some insight or I can give it to you, you can tap on the text and this will give you a brief uh, explanation on what this mode will do. So background net network usage, sync and location check will be limited and motion smoothness will be changed to standard up to 60 Hertz. So what this means is, well, actually it's kind of self-explanatory. So your refresh rate of the display will be dropped. So it will feel a little bit choppier. I think there's also change in brightness, which it wasn't, I think, listed here. Uh, but the most important change here is the background network usage. Now, this seems kind of uh, weirdly named. It doesn't really explain what it's going to do. So what it is doing, it will turn off Wi-Fi and mobile data when you're not using the, the device. Obviously, that might pose some problems to some people that require network connection on their device to be permanently on. So just be mindful of this option. Now, that being said, I believe Samsung does reconnect to uh, network every so often, just so it can check if it's missing something. Uh, but obviously, if you're requiring permanent connection, you might not want to do this. In any case, this is the power saving mode. So it's kind of how it works here. Um, there's also additional options. So if we hold the toggle, it will take us to the settings. Now I'm gonna turn off the power saving mode just so I can change them. So here we have a couple different things that we can customize just a little bit. So we have CPU limit speed. If you need your device to be running at full speed, you might also want to uh, turn that off. Then we have uh, decreased brightness by 10%. So like I mentioned, the brightness did go down. Uh, turn off five gigahertz. Uh, if you're not using any kind of uh, SIM card in this device, you might want to Keep this permanently on probably and just turn off the rest of it and then the last option is limit apps and uh, and home screen now what this will do I'm actually going to enable it it might be a little bit easier to see is enable basically the insane power saving mode so as you can see you don't have any more wallpaper your applications that were previously on the home screen are primarily gone keeping just a couple of the more important ones and obviously this mode is just strictly designed for preserving as much battery as it possibly can. Now to leave it, all you do is just select right here and select to turn off and voila. If you've chosen to turn that on and in the future you want to use the normal power saving mode, you'd need to go back to the settings right there and toggle it off. Now last thing that I'm gonna add is the power saving without actually using the power saving. So if you, like I mentioned, rely on permanent network connection, you might be interested in, for instance, toggling off everything that you don't use, like Bluetooth, uh, location, nearby share, Dolby Atmos, and whatever else you don't use. And additionally, if your device tends to be on a lot, as in screen on, then lowering down your brightness as far as you feel comfortable. Brightness on the display, or how bright it is, will have the biggest impact on your battery life. So to preserve it, you can drop it down. So there we go. Now, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful, informative, and if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.